Mostert uh, broke his arm in return, obviously, and Kittle chest. Mostert what? out for the season. Um, I mean, they, I didn't, they didn't tell me, but I would assume so with a broken arm. We've been hunting this quarterback. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're just keeping our secret weapon, you know, ready to go. Um, no, he did an awesome job today. The guys played real well around him. Um, there's a lot on his plate coming in and, you know, being his first um, time in a, in a real NFL game, non-preseason. Um, started off real well, was very poised, got the guys in and out of the huddle, and um, did a hell of a job. Kyle, did Nick, did he surprise you at all? Um, I mean, you never know until you see someone. He, he didn't surprise us in terms of, I mean, the game's not too big for Nick. He's very poised. Um, he is always locked in. Um, they, that's why the guys always, I mean, they respect him. They, he earned a lot of respect in the preseason, them watching him play both years, last year and this year, um, the way he handles himself in practice each week. Uh, he didn't really know for sure whether he was going to start today um, until today. And just the way he handled the, the two days of long walkthroughs and stuff, he's, I mean, he's a machine in there, and um, I was happy for him. Um, just how locked in he is, just his detail and how he prepares for a game each week. I mean, there was no difference in him knowing the game plan this week than, than last year when you know he didn't have a chance of playing. So um, that's uh, that's what I mean by a machine. He's al he's always working, um, he's always studying, he always is acting like he's going to be the starter. And um, and today he got his opportunity and it paid off. You called a pass on the, on the first play, Kyle. Was it, was it was the idea to be aggressive from the outset and just let him air it out? Um, no, um, I mean, I didn't plan on running it every down all game. So, um, you know, we, we, we like the pass and we like starting out that way. And, you know, we have confidence in Nick. He's, that's why he's here. And uh, he did a very good job. But, no, we didn't. That was nothing different. Uh, winning the final battle of the Bay, how does the eternal bragging rights that you guys are going to get feel for your team? Uh, I'm not sure about that right now. I know, you know, I grew up a huge Niners fan. I also grew up a Raiders hater um, from – um, growing up mainly in the AFC West also and also having a history with them. So uh, it feels good, definitely. Um, feels good to win, um, but I'm definitely happy for our fans. And then piggybacking off that, how do you feel about how the Niners are about to become the Bay Area's only NFL franchise? Um, I feel like it's kind of always been like that, too. So it's, mm. I mean, I don't mean it in that way, but I mean, they've been here the longest and they've never left. Scott, what was the process today uh, getting to, to the, make the decision on Mullins and how close was CJ? Um, see, the main thing was whether CJ could just be the backup or not. You know, kind of, kind of yesterday we had a pretty good idea that um, we were going to go with Nick. Um, we just wanted to make sure that CJ could be out there and at least be healthy enough to be the backup. Um, so we had to go through that this morning with him. Once he confirmed that, then we were good to go. Uh, sorry you can't enjoy this longer before you get this question, but... Sorry. Right. You know, are you going to consider Nick uh, you know, for the start to remain the starter uh, for the next game? Uh, I mean, well, yeah, I'll definitely will consider it. Um, definitely not thinking about that right now, but um, you know, our, our whole team played very well. You know, Nick definitely did. Um, I thought our guys up front played well. Um, and I thought the entire offense did. I thought the defense played their tail off. I thought the pass rush was there. I thought we tackled well. I thought our punter and kicker did well. It was a very good all-around win. I was real happy for our guys. You know, we've been through a lot here, um, and we're not done. We're trying to get our way out of this, and um, it's good to get a win today, and hopefully we can lead to some others. So, so did Nick have the full breadth of the offense at, at his disposal? Uh, yes, yeah. Nick knows offense as well as anyone. You know, he's been here um, since day one. So, And how, how much, obviously, does that help just in, with everybody else sort of being on the same page, the fact that you don't have to make those kind of changes for, for a guy in his situation? It's huge. You know, it's always tough. You know, you, you go through a lot of work with guys in the offseason and OTAs and training camp. You try to build a foundation of um, just your verbiage and how to use guys, and it's, it takes a lot of work for everyone. So um, that's why it's a huge challenge during the year to, you know, change quarterbacks and uh, um, and sometimes when you, it's, you go through some unfortunate situations, bringing in someone who hasn't been in, um, you know, you have to limit it, which helps that guy have a chance, makes it a lot tougher on everyone else. So just the fact that Nick's been here for the entire time and, you know, you don't have to limit anything off or offensively with the play calls and everything, and I think it makes everyone else's job a lot easier. Considering how well Nick played tonight and the struggles he's had the past few weeks, why not make the switch for sooner? Um, because I don't put all those struggles on just CJ. I mean, it's, you know, I think it's, bad just to, I think people make a huge mistake just saying if you win it's the quarterback if you lose it's the quarterback I mean there's 11 guys on offense there's 53 guys on our team um, I thought our team had probably our best had our best game of the year so far um, that's it's nothing against CJ I think CJ would have played well tonight too if he played
It looked like Nick was doing really well on the play action fakes, especially on third down. Was there one throw that really stood out to you or a move that he did? I know he had the long uh, pass to Richie James, Kittle made the one hander, and then the three touchdown passes. Did any of those stand out? Oh, uh, yeah. The, the, you know, the, the one to Kittle was very impressive. You know, uh, he got to the number two guy in his read, and from what I saw, it didn't look like he had a very good window, um, and he did a good job of getting around someone, and then Kittle made a hell of a play um, catching that. You know, I thought one down in the red zone um, it was an RPO play, just getting it um, to Dwelly, his, his first catch. Um, that, that, that was a hell of a throw, um, and just the way he hung in there and um, was very efficient and ran the offense very well. Kyle, will you make sure all your quarterbacks watch the YouTube videos that, that Mullins did to learn how to <laughs> Yeah, I think we, we need to show that more. Obviously, it's helped them. So. Why was the pass rush able to get going today? Um, I'm not. I'm not sure exactly. I mean, um, it looked like we got after them um, from, from the times I saw. I'll watch on the film and see if there was anything different. But I thought Saul did a good job mixing up his calls. Um, we thought we did a good job mixing up our stunts, and um, you know, I thought our guys won the one-on-one -on -one battles. So. Uh, that always, it's not just the rush. I think our guys held up in coverage well. And uh, when people aren't open right away and you make that quarterback take a couple of hitches, um, it's just tying both those guys together up front and up back. And I think they had an all around good game. How much do you think having, having a lead contributes to that too? What's that? How much do you think having a lead contributes well, to that? I think having a lead is huge. You know, the more you can have a lead, the more one dimensional you can make people. Um, it seems like they were fairly balanced with it, but, you know, that's something that. You know, the better you can do on offense, always the more that helps the defense. And um, the better the defense can do, the more that helps the offense. So um, it's, it's a huge team win. And I think when all three facets were playing well, um, it's, not a just, it's not a coincidence that that helps all three facets. Is, is there anything in particular that's been clicking for Cassius Marsh these last couple of weeks? Um, Cash just goes hard every play. He's done it all year. He's done it his whole career. Um, I've played against him a number of times. Um, and since he's been here, I mean, Cassius has a motor that never stops. And um, when you have a motor like that and you're always working, it's, it's usually a matter of time before something good happens. Anything about year two, George Kittle, impressing you? Uh, yeah, everything. You know, he's, um, he impressed me a lot last year, um, I think. Um, and he's gotten only better. You know, you always get better or worse, and he's a guy who's gotten a lot better um, after playing at a pretty high level last year. So, George, I think people underestimate or don't talk enough about how good he is for us in the run game. Um, he's a very good run blocker. He's a very physical player. I think everyone's starting to see how good he is in the pass game. And um, what's been the most impressive is when you get the ball in his hands, you guys can just see that he has a certain attitude to him, um, that he is trying to score every time he touches the ball, whether he's 80 yards away or two yards away. Uh, you, you talked about Mullen's poise, but did, you know, even so, did you feel the need to like talk to him at all or just say, hey, just be yourself or give him a special message just because it was his first game? Um, I mean, I try not to make too big a deal of that type of stuff. I mean, I don't think I have some magical words that's going to change, take someone's nerves away. Um, I think I can pretend like that and go sit there and over talk to him, but, um, you know, Nick's prepared for this moment. And I just tell him to go out there, be yourself. You deserve this moment. And um, just go out there, play your hardest, and see what happens. Because um, Nick's prepared a long time for this. He deserved this. And I was happy that he got the results. All right, guys, we've got George out here. Thanks, guys.